Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Mogul Motivation. Welcome back. I'm happy that you are here. If this is your first time listening. This podcast is for the aspiring entrepreneur trying to get over that hump and make things happen. This podcast is for anybody with a dream that wants to go forward and accomplish that dream. I spent the last two weeks in Mexico. Me and Nicole, we was in Mexico for the past two weeks just as a sabbatical, just to get away from work, just to clear our minds, just to relax, just to do some soul searching um, for ourselves individually, things like that. And, you know, while I was in Mexico, it was, you know, there, there were more good days than bad days, but there were a couple bad days out there. I'm like, why am I having bad days? Um, while I'm on vacation, while I'm on sabbatical, why am I having uh, moments of anxiety, moments of stress, things like that? And it's because in this period of my life right now, it's very tumultuous. You know, there are a lot of unexpected problems that's uh, before me. There are a lot of things that's still preventing me from getting over that hurdle to accomplishing certain goals of mine that I believe that I know will elevate my entrepreneurial journey to the next level. Um I've been an entrepreneur for 11 years. I talk about that a lot on this podcast. It's no secret. I don't say that to boast or to gloat. It's just the truth. I've been on this journey for a long, long time. I've been an entrepreneur for a long time. Learned a lot. Had a lot of failures. Had a lot of um, hard lessons. You know, had a lot of lows. But I also had a lot of highs. You know, for example, when the pandemic first broke out in 2020, right, um, it was a low point for a lot of people, especially for their businesses. A lot of businesses, unfortunately, closed because of the pandemic. But fortunately for me, my business boomed at the beginning of the pandemic, right? My business was booming 2020, 2021. But now here we are in 2022. And, you know, we're at the end of the pandemic. President Joe Biden said the pandemic is officially over and my business isn't struggling. It's not struggling. But for some reason, I'm struggling. I'm struggling because I'm worried about what's going to happen tomorrow. I'm struggling because I don't know how I'm going to get to these goals, how I'm going to accomplish these goals, because I don't know what's lying ahead of me next week because I've been dealing with a lot of unexpected problems this year in 2022. So while we was on a sabbatical, you know, I had a couple bad days, but I had mostly good days. You know, I had to tell myself that it's still going to work out. I had to tell myself that I'm still going to persevere and I'm still going to prevail just as I have before. Prevail as I had before. What does that mean? That means I've been on this journey for 11 years. I just told you that. In that 11 year span, there has been a lot of lows, but there have been a lot of highs. In order to get to the high, you have to go through the low first, right? So I had to think back and remember about those low points in my life, whether it may be emotionally, spiritually or financially. I had to think back on those moments in time. And then I had to think on how I felt when that low point transformed into a high point. How did I feel when I got a big deposit in my bank account? How did I feel when I did something that made me happy? How did I feel when someone said something or gave me some encouragement and lifted my spirits? How did that moment feel? You remember how that felt in your life. You remember how it felt on your journey. And right now, if you're in a low point, whether it's emotionally, spiritually, or financially, it doesn't really matter. You have to get in your feelings right now. I encourage you to get in your feelings and think back and feel how it felt when you came out that low spot. Feel how it felt when you got that big check, when you got that client, when you got that big deposit. Feel how it felt when you accomplished that goal that you were striving for. Feel how it felt when you finally got something that lifted your spirits and encouraged you and motivated you. Feel that. Get in your feelings right now, ladies and gentlemen. Feel how it felt back then and feel how it feels right now. Despite the fact you are in a low point at this moment, continue to feel how it feels to be at that high point because that's what's going to get you through this period in your life and that's what's getting me through right now as i record this podcast on september 28th 2022 i am in a low point in fact i'm actually a little bit under the weather it could be because i was in mexico for two weeks or it could be because it's very cold outside i don't know i don't know what it could be but nonetheless i'm a little under the weather right now i'm struggling right now mentally i'm struggling right now emotionally but that doesn't mean that i'm going to stay here because i'm going to continue to stay in my feelings and feel how it feels to be encouraged i'm going to continue to feel how it feels to be inspired i'm going to continue to feel how it feels to get a ten thousand dollar deposit in my 
bank account. I'm going to continue to feel these things. I'm going to feel what it feels like to accomplish these goals that I'm after right now because I know what it felt like to accomplish big goals in the past. Stay in your feelings, ladies and gentlemen. Get in your feelings and continue to feel, continue to relive those feelings from the past that brought you through those low points and got you to those high points. And those feelings right now in the present is going to get you through this current low point. It's going to get you through this current storm in your life. Feel how it feels, ladies and gentlemen, to get that house, to get the keys to your dream house. Feel how it feels to get your dream car. Feel how it feels to get your business to the next level. Feel how it feels to be recognized and get the appreciation that you know you deserve. And understand we're not doing this for appreciation. We're not doing this for validation. We are doing this for us and because this is our passion and because this is what fulfills us and this is the work that we are orchestrated and ordained to do. Stay in your feelings. Get in your feelings. That's what's getting me through right now, ladies and gentlemen. That's what's going to get you through. That's what got me through in the past. Remember how it felt when the good news came through in your email or on your phone. Remember how that felt and continue to feel that right now. Even though it hasn't happened yet, feel it right now. Because it's one thing to speak it into existence, but you have to feel it into existence as well. You have to know what it feels like to receive what you want to receive. Feel it. Don't continue to feel these negative emotions, depression, anxiety. I'm not telling you that you shouldn't feel that at all because you are human. You're not a machine. Those things are going to come. But continue to feel all the good things on top of that. Because even though it's cloudy in the sky, the sun is somewhere on top of that. Understand that. Even though it's cloudy right now, it's still sun on top of that cloud. It's still sun on top of that storm. Continue to feel what the sun feels like when it's shining on your face and when it's lighting your path and when it's leading you in the right direction and reminding you that you are on the right path and you are on this journey for a reason. Do not give up. We are in this together. So that's my message this morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let's continue to work. Let's continue to imagine reality. Get in your feelings. Stay in your feelings. Continue to feel those good feelings. The bad feelings, they are already there. You already done felt it. But you already done felt the good feelings too. And continue to remind yourself what the good feelings feel like. So it can carry you to that high point. And when you come to another low point in your life, those good feelings are still going to be there with you. And they are going to remind you and they are going to continue to tell you what lies ahead. Good news is next week. Good news is tomorrow. Good news is next month. Good news is next year. Good news is right now. So if this podcast has benefited you in any way, shape or form, I ask for two things as always. Number one, leave a five star review. And number two, pass it on to a friend who may benefit from it as well. Have a great day, everybody. I'll talk to you next week.